Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can create a use case diagram for online shopping in Star UML. So please subscribe our channel so that you can view all the latest videos related to this. So let's get started. For uh, this you have to download Star UML and it's free of course, you can easily download it from Google. After the downloading it you can see this layout and it's just blank because we have to add the diagram after that we can create a diagram. So if you go to the models options you can see the add diagram and here there are many different diagrams but we have to create the use case so I'm going to select use case diagram and you can see at the left side all the use cases of use case diagram is being displayed here if you drag it till down and the blank whiteboard is also being displayed. So you, to create a use case, the first important part is to create a use case subject that is basically you can call it as a board in which all the use cases will be displayed. So you have to click on it and where you have to add this just click on this place. So as I have clicked here you can see I can have got this but it's very small but it's not uh, a problem we can just increase the size from here just drag and drop. And you can change the position. I'll keep it at center and I'll make it in down. So, okay, so I, can, I have to change the name as I'm making use case diagram for online shopping. So, its name will be use case diagram for online shopping. Or you can just write online shopping, it's your choice. Now, I'll add actors. So for the online shopping, there will be two actors. The first one will be admin. So it's admin. So you can change the position very easily. And the second one is user. Of course, user is the main part. You can say user or customer. So it's very important. So I have added the user, two actors, that is admin and user. Now the main part is I'm going to add the use cases and after that I'm going to connect the users with the use cases means what functions they're going to perform whatever they're going to perform will be connected. So the first use case that I think is very important for online shopping is login. So I'll click on use case and I'll just click here and I'll just change its name to login and I will change its position at a center. Now what I want is I just want to connect admin and user to login because admin will manage all the login part and user will login here. So to connect it I am going to use the direct association and I will just click here and I am going to click on admin and I will just drag it with login. As you can see I just dragged it and it is automatically displayed the line. And I also want the user to also connect it to the login use case. So same thing I'll do it here. So uh, okay, so I did not connect it properly. So like that you will connect it and it will be connected. So the next use case that I'm gonna add is add item. So let's add add item use case. Okay, so the next use case I'm going to add is add category. First let me draw all the use cases and after that I will connect it very easily. So the next is manage item. Okay, by mistake I had took the uh, actual so let's add the use case manage item so after this the use case I'm going to add is uh, as you can see uh, add item add category and manage item is being displayed so uh, manage item the next use case is manage order so you can add the manage order use case here because uh, admin's part is to manage the order. Okay, whatever order will be placed by the user, the admin's 
responsibility is to manage it so okay so now let me tell you that the login part for the use case is for both for admin and for user because admin is going to manage the login and user is going to log in its credentials and if you talk about add item so add item is only the responsibility of an admin it's not the responsibility of a user user cannot add an item user can uh, view the item or user can do another things okay if you talk about add categories so it's also the responsibility of a admin okay so after that manage item is also the responsibility of an admin and manage order is also the responsibility of an admin why because user can only view the order user cannot manage the order so the next use case we can draw is registration because as we have written login so registration is also a very important use case because without registration the user cannot log in firstly the user have to register themselves then only he or she can log in okay so i hope you are understanding this you have to understand the concepts that in an online shopping what main functions are being performed by the admin from the admin side and from the user side and according to that you can easily draw a use case diagram so next is as you have written add item so for the user the user will view the item so i'm going to again i took a domestic so it's use case so it's view item you can just adjust it very easily and after that okay let me turn down so the last i can add is make order because admin is going to manage the order admin can only manage the order firstly when user makes an order so this makes an order is very important so do forget So the make order is the most important one because you, you if you forget this one so this manage order will be useless because admin can manage the order when a user first makes the order okay so these all important use cases i have been added if there are further more you can just think about it but i am just explaining you how you can make a simple use case diagram the main important use cases you can just add here so now let's just connect the use cases with the actors so admin uh, will add the item so i'll just use the direct association admin will add the category okay admin will manage the item so these all use three use cases don't have any uh, concept we here with the user so manage order is also with the admin one. now when it's come to registration then registration a user will do so of course the user will do the registration and user will view the item and the last one is user will make the order okay but if you want to add more use cases because if you think something is being missing user is making the order using the user is filling the item but after making the order the next step you have to remember is make payment when a user makes an order he is going to pay so make payment use case can also be added so i can just okay i can just select this all with control c but it's not big so no problem if i can just drag it up so that I can add more items very easily. So let's drag it up. So I get some space to add the another use cases. So it's very easy. Okay, so now I can add the use case. The next is we can add one more that is make payments because after making an order, the next step uh, a user can do is to make the payments. So 
like this you can just think of more and more use cases and you can easily add it and connect it with it so it's very easy to make a diagram in star UML and one more use case it's being in my mind that is the change password because a user if he is registering and he is logging credentials he can just change it he can just change the password so I can add this one also so as you can see I if I add something if it's too long the text is too long and it just increases its size so this is a very good software you can tool star UML through which you can draw the type so I hope my use case diagram is being complete and it's very clear you can easily understand it that admin will manage the login with the login admin will add the item admin will add the category admin will manage item manage order and user will log in with his credentials user will do its registration its view item he or she will make the order and make payments and he can also change the password and if more points come in your mind and it's you can do it nicely you can just add the use cases and add more okay so i hope it's very clear for you and you've understood how you can make a use case diagram for online shopping so please subscribe my channel so that you can view more videos for use case diagram thank you